Oh, hello! My name is Mara, and welcome to Books Like Woe. So I felt like it was about the right time for me to do another Sunday shout-out video. Now, if you don't know, what I do with these videos is on Sundays, I shout out fellow booktubers and kind of just give you a quick rundown of some things that I've been enjoying and some channels that you might like to try. And I usually try to pick some some version of a theme. And today's theme I had been thinking about and then like was like, yes, bitch, you need to do this because of a video that I saw from the Poptimus channel and we will come back to him later. He did a video uh, and he actually started a book tag called the Book to Booker Book Tag. I have such a hard time saying that. Uh, but anyway, he was, uh, it's essentially like best of the year kind of thing, sort of like the Goodreads Awards, but it also included a category for booktubers. Now this is a little bit of a selfish shout out because I was nominated in that. Thanks everyone, that was super cool. Um, when I saw myself, I was like, no, oh, look, at, look at this, this is so great. So I appreciate that. But uh, also one of the things that he had as a result of that book tag was he created a playlist of best videos of the year. So people were nominating like some of their favorite videos from their favorite booktube creators. And I had been thinking about doing one of these, but not based on a whole channel, but just specifically shouting out some of the actual videos that I've enjoyed in the last couple of months. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you some of the uh, videos that have made a lasting impression recently, and certainly not exhaustive, but definitely includes a lot of new people that I don't think I've mentioned on here yet, which is also good, um, but maybe some repeats, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get into this. This is gonna be my favorite booktube videos of the last few months, and I will link everything below. Maybe I'll create, you know what? I should be like a woman about my shit and I should create a playlist. So I will create a playlist and then I'll also link their channels below. But yeah, let's do this. Okay, so let's start with the Poptimus since he like, spurred me on to go ahead and do this. The video that I have been just like, yes, uh, really, really enjoyed was his review of the library at Mount Char because I feel like in that review, he captured a lot of what I wanted to say about that book and kind of failed to say well, <laughs> I think. I mean, I, I'm sure I did, I did okay. But like, I think he captured the weirdness of that book and why it's weird in a great way if you like that kind of a thing, um, much better than I did. So I will definitely shout that one out. That'll be in the playlist. I also really enjoyed his video kind of in response to some of the like, it wasn't, I hadn't, I haven't even addressed this on my channel because girl, is it even worth it? Um, but basically <laughs> the, uh, the whole like makeup controversy about like, this is just an excuse for girls to put on makeup. Yes, bitch, look at this. I was playing with the new eyeshadow palette. How you like that? Um, anyway, <laughs> so he, he also addresses that, but particularly I wanted to shout out the library at Mount Char because I just thought that was a great review. Another thing I want to shout out, this is a playlist. I guess maybe I can't link the whole playlist. I'm not sure how. I don't think you can link a playlist within a playlist, so I'll pick a video. But like, I have been not even low key, I have been high key obsessed with Connor O'Brien over the last like month. I have been diving so deep into his backlist. Like, I don't know, I just love this guy. I feel like maybe even more so than a lot of booktubers that I have seen that breach his level, I think he communicates genuine enthusiasm for reading in a way that is so just like pure and delightful. And I just love like the vibe. I mean, that's such a whatever word, but like his vibe of just like pure enthusiasm makes me so happy. And it makes me so excited to see somebody who's able, like, I think he's a great example of somebody who is enthusiastic without being like super high energy, because I think that that's something that gets a little confusing on booktube sometimes. I just love how excited he is about the books that he's reading. I think he talks about them in a really fun way. I love how enthusiastic he is for middle grade. Like, I don't know that I watch a lot of other channels where somebody is like consciously and like purposefully trying to like shout out middle grade. Um, and specifically the video from him, the, the playlist I have been loving is his 2017 reading wrap up. So like I did my whole like deep dive. And now when I like, he, that is a playlist that is like, sometimes what I use to fall asleep at night. Like I like to have either like a podcast or like kind of a lower energy YouTube thing on when I'm first falling asleep. And like, I often will pick that now because I just, again, I think he just has like such a great energy. Also the dog. Okay, he has a dog named Nanook and like all I want to do is boop his nose through my screen. I want to meet this dog. He is so cute. I just, 
So anyway, I've really been enjoying watching Connor and specifically that playlist, but I'll pick like, I guess the first video in that playlist and put it in my playlist. Then completely unoriginally, because I think that these videos were mentioned several times in uh, the Poptimus Roundup video. I think it's Read with Cindy. I always get a little confused on her channel name if it's Reading with Cindy or Read with Cindy. I think it's Read with Cindy. Two fantastic videos that I've watched several times since they came out. One of which is the basic bitch booktube tag or like basically her her response to the whole makeup controversy and like the parody she did I thought that that was so spot on very funny and like I love the music video at the end I thought that was really fun I thought that was a great video and then I also really enjoyed her interviewing to be a YA heroine video both of those were fantastic uh and I've been enjoying kind of like dipping into her channel more I wanted to okay so I need to give a little bit of a caveat because they're like I have a really wide range of sub communities within booktube that watch me like just based on who comments and like who I interact with I'm like this is really interesting there's a lot of different corners of booktube who watch me so if you are not familiar with Memento Mori I do need to give you a little disclaimer that he is not a flavor for everyone and I think you need to know that he does not take himself very seriously I don't think based on his comments and everything but like I think that needs to be said because he's a very strong flavor and it's a flavor that I really enjoy I really like his channel but it's not gonna be for everyone so like watch these two videos and like go into it I think especially if you watch the first one first that I'm gonna mention just he's not taking himself that seriously so like just know that. Okay, so Memento Mori, I really enjoy, uh, I believe his name is Adam. I'm ter so I'm terrible at remembering people's actual names if they are not in their like moniker. <laughs> Pretty sure his name is Adam. I love his content. I really enjoy his channel. And the two videos that like, I just, they just cracked me up unquestionably the video that made me laugh the most this year was when he was visiting his friend Ursula and they were talking about what she is reading right now. It was everything it made me laugh so hard because she reads a lot of like like hardcore feminist literature and just her talking about scum which i have never read but like have really enjoyed listening to other people talk about oh my gosh it was so funny i loved their discuss like the whole video i don't want to ruin it for you the whole video is great i also loved finding out that he proudly is the sylvia plath of book two i like that was great so that video and then i also really enjoyed his video like kind of deconstructing current cover trends with like the sans serif font over a flower now i he was very seemingly uh, off put by this i actually quite enjoy those i think that they're really beautiful but like listen to him talk about it was very funny so like I said I don't think like I think you need to know that he is not taking himself as seriously as maybe sometimes it comes off as to enjoy him but I I love Adam like I love that channel I really enjoy the content he puts out another video this is actually probably the video I have most rewatched because I just love the shit out of this video and actually I just realized like good job me I have a lot more dudes in this video than I normally do but Caleb at Insane Reader I love this kid he like he is so funny and I feel like he has a really healthy perspective on life slash internet drama for somebody his age I mean I think he's not even 18 yet but he makes really fun reading vlogs and like the the one that I love the most, the one that I think like kicked off his channel in a major way this year is the one that he did about Zenith. Is Zenith worth, worth the hype? Sidebar, I also think that Jordan Harvey's video about Zenith, that book review is also really worth watching. I'll link her as well below. Um, I like her channel quite a bit, by the way. But Insane Reader, his, his like rant reading vlog of Zenith was everything. And I think that... I also, you know what, the other video I should link from him is he got a lot of backlash about like, you, you're you just hating this book because you like are jealous or like you hate the authors or you can't critique this because you aren't an author yourself, like yada, yada, yada. It was a lot of like, it was a lot basically. And I think he made a really thoughtful video about like why that is not a good mindset like why why critique of books is a healthy and normal part of like a book community so I'll link that video as well I also really enjoyed his reading vlog that he did for uh what is it called handbook for mortals that one the, the one where the lady tried to scam the New York Times bestseller list I don't even know her name he blocks out her name it's very cute I really just generally like his approach to reading vlogs and it inspired me to try to be more purposeful about doing reading vlogs because I really enjoy watching his style um, I'm not saying that like mine are just like his, but just that 
it made me kind of, it, it, it helped me see how I could do a reading vlog in a way that I would enjoy because I like watching some people's reading vlogs, but sometimes I find them a little kind of like dull, just to be honest. Um, so I, I kind of liked his approach to doing it. Anyway, all that to say, I re those are probably like, that little group of, of videos is probably my most rewatched video on booktube recently and I just think it was really great. And then finally I should throw in here because uh, her her video I thought was my favorite response to the whole is booktube racist controversy that came up. I really enjoyed it from her uh, and that was uh, the novel Lush, Lauren, my, my friend Lauren at the novel Lush. She made a video about that particular video, that particular incident, and I thought it was very well done. Like I think I said in my response video to it, I really appreciated that I thought she was able to, to convey her righteous anger and also have a lot of humor in it. I just thought she did a really great job on that video. I think she also got a ton of subs off of it, which is great because she honestly is like one of the booktubers that I've always wondered why she didn't have more subscribers. So I'm so glad to see um, that people kind of found her through that video. So anyway, I'll link that one below as well. Oh, actually, you know what? A couple of other ones I thought I would shout out. One is, uh, I really liked Emily Kate Reads did a Q&A while she was carving her Halloween pumpkin recently. And I thought that was a super cute idea of like how to kind of approach a q and I thought that was a great idea. Um, yeah, so I, I commend that in terms of uh, thinking through new ways to make Q&As more interesting in terms of like visually what's going on. And I guess I should also mention because Possibly Literate actually inspired me to make a video about comfort rereads as a response to like dark times uh, because of her video about books to read when you have all the rage. Um, so anyway, I, I guess I should mention her too because that is another video recently that inspired me to do something else. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll include both of those in my in my playlist as well. So yeah, those are some of the videos that I've been enjoying recently. It's hard to come up with a list like this because like I do watch a lot of booktube. Like I tr I've been increasingly trying, especially as like, I feel, how to say this, like, I'm not saying I've mastered makeup, but I feel less interested in makeup content as like something soothing to have on in the background just because I've not been spending as much on it. Like I'm not trying to learn any new techniques right now. So like, and the drama, like I enjoyed it while it was hot in August, but like it kind of burnt me out to be honest. So like I've been watching less makeup YouTube and a lot more booktube in my spare moments, which I think has mostly been for the good. And uh, so yeah, I do watch a lot of booktube. So it is hard to come up with this list because there's a ton of videos that I've enjoyed, but these are the ones that sort of came to mind when I was thinking about this idea. So there you go. I'll have the playlist link below. And like I said, I'll also have a channel. I'll have everyone's channel so that you can check them out. Let them know I sent you. Um, they're all they're all fantastic. Like go subscribe, go enjoy. Most of these booktubers are actually pretty good size, but like, you know, we're all still trying to find each other. Like the booktube community is in the scheme of things pretty small, but like you definitely still can encounter, like uh, weekly I will encounter a new booktuber who has like 10 to 20,000 subscribers. And I'm like, girl, where have I been? Like, how have I missed that? Because like, that's a really good sized channel for booktube. So anyway, it is small, but like there's always, you know, room for discovery, no matter what the size of the channel. Anyway, that's enough of my yapping. Um, I hope you guys are having a lovely Sunday. Let me know if you have a particular video that you've really enjoyed recently uh, from any of these guys or just anywhere on booktube and definitely go check these guys out. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social meets if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below and I think that will do it. Hope you're having a really great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.